As a guy who um, spends a lot of time in the slot, you've had a lot of work here against Sterling. What kind of work has that been for you? Uh, with that guy right there, Sterling Shepard, it's a lot of diligent work. You know, he's a crafty player, a player that I love facing each and every day. And at the end of the day, he's uh, getting me better and I'm getting him better. You, um, you're not a, a rookie anymore. He's a veteran. Uh, is, is it different battles than last year? Uh, I still, I'm still, i still facing the same battles that I was last year. You know, at the end of the day, I'm still the same person. I'm growing as a person as well. And uh, he got better this offseason. I got better this offseason. So I'm just learning more about the game and learning more about him as well. I know he, I know he mentioned that he will pull you aside after you guys have a rep extra trying to tell you like what maybe you should have done or something. How, how valuable is that having a guy who's in the league being willing to pull a corner aside and, and do that like that? Yeah, that's just that uh, big brother mentorship that we got going on. You know, at the end of the day, after practice, I'm always right by him, asking him different questions of what I should have done or what I shouldn't have done, you know. So just having him in my circle is just something that uh, is a blessing to have for sure. He's, um, um, some people think he's having one of his best camp, maybe his best camp. Does he seem especially sharp to you? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. He always been a great player to me, you know, so seeing him out there having fun, you know, uh, being creative and all his routes. I'm seeing a Sterling Shepard that I always thought I saw. What impresses you so far about number 89, the rookie Kadarius Tony? Uh, he's just a great guy, you know. Off the field, he's a great guy. On the field, he's a twitchy guy. You know, he's just a, a guy that we you would love to have on your team. Twitchy guy? Yes, sir. How do you feel like camp's been going for you so far? Uh, camp has been an uh, ongoing process for me. I'm learning a slot more, you know, with, they're throwing new things at me, you know, so I got to be able to respond to different things. But uh, it's going in the manner that it's supposed to go in, so I'm just taking it day by day. You, you, have, a, you have a little background with Adore. You've known him for a while. How, how cool is it when you found out he might come here and then when he signed? Like, how, how, how special is that for you? Because I know and you didn't, he was a little bit older than you, but you come from the same area and all that. Definitely. It's a blessing to have him here. You know, it's crazy how the stars align. You know, he's been somebody I always looked up to. So having him right here, having him as my uh, buddy in the meeting room and in the locker room, he's just somebody that's special for sure. How much more um, um, do you think you know about this defense now than you did last year? You know, it's the same system, same coaches, things like that. You know, do you feel light years different than last year? Yeah, I definitely feel more uh, in tune with the defense, more in tune with the scheme. Do you sense everybody feels that way? Like if, if things happening faster on defense because guys know what Pat Graham's system is now? Yeah, I feel like we're just more in tune with each other. You know, last year it was just a different year overall. So being here in OTAs and being here in minicamp, you know, we're able to learn each other more and we're able to bond off the field. So pretty much when we hit the field, we all know what our values are and what our morals are. So we all uh, after the same thing. Looking back, I mean, you've had a, it was a strange rookie experience for you, right? The start of it, you know, the whole COVID and the Zooms and, you know, I mean, it was, it was no rookies have ever gone through stuff like that before. Yeah, definitely. It was just the hand I was dealt with, and I feel like we uh, handled it greatly. You know, I appreciate the organization, the tools that they gave us, and they pretty much gave us everything we needed, and we utilized it pretty well.